my name is Michael LeBlanc, and my topic is how to lift weights properly for beginners. <clears throat> Are you interested in gaining muscle and increasing your muscle mass by lifting weights as a beginner in the most effective and safest way? If so, I am going to demonstrate to you how to properly lift weights, focus on mainly your arms so that you can get your best results. I understand that as a beginner, you may not know exactly where to start. Lifting weights can be a simple task if done properly. And with the right instructions, you'll get the right, you'll get the best body of your dreams. And your arms, or your arms for this instance. Let's get started. You want to start off by gathering all your equipment. This procedure can be done at home or in a gym, depending on your choice of environment. I will be demonstrating the home exercise procedure due to the fact that I have most of the equipment already in my possession. Some of the supplies will include workout attire of your choice, which I have on. Make sure that your tire is comfortable, fitting, and a little loose. You'll want to have a towel to blot off any sweat that is, that is produced during the workout, as it can become a distraction and even get in your eyes which is hazardous. We want the workout to be as safe as possible. Another thing you should pay a little attention to is the hydration of your body. You should always keep a bottle of water of some sort of sports beverage, beverage near you to drink during the workout since you will be losing a lot of water out of your system due to sweat. Preferably, the beverage should have the least amount of sugar as possible. Now, the most important piece of equipment, the weights, which I currently don't have, but I will have in my next speech when I go down to the gym. The weights should be chosen depending on the individual's natural strength. This can range from five pounds dumbbell to a thousand pounds dumbbell. I wouldn't suggest lifting a thousand pounds, but hey, if you want to be Superman, go, go for it. But it can definitely be a goal. We are going to use two 15 pound weights. It is also optional to have music device headphones as music is a great motivation during the workout. Now, now that we have all the supplies, let's begin the workout with a little stretching procedure. This is a warmer which is used as a way to get your muscles loose and preventing from strain and injuries. We are going to start off stretching the biceps, standing in a Shoulder width apart, bending your knees slightly to provide support for your legs and upper body. Lift both your arms outward, shoulder width, shoulder width height forming a T-shape, and make sure you keep them evenly held high. Now rotate your wrists, rotate your wrists until the palms are facing backwards. Hold this position for 30 seconds, breathe, and then rest. Now. We're stretching the, now we're going to go on and stretching the shoulders by standing in the right straight position. Again, bending your knees slightly, extend your left arm across your chest, apply resistance, apply, apply resistance using the opposite arm, and the pressure should be felt in the left arm and shoulder. Hold this position for 30 seconds, breathe, and rest. Once you have rested in this position, transition to the opposite arm. We want, we want both arms to get loose. We are now going to begin lifting weights, beginning with the biceps, with a bicep curl. Start by standing shoulder width apart with the feet flat on the ground. Hold one 15 pound in your left arm, to begin with the left arm, and hanging downwards, palms facing forward. Slowly raise the weight to reach your chest. Hold for three seconds, and then lowering the weight starting at a downward position. A good 15, to, a good 10 to 15 reps on each arm should be, should be good for the workout. Moving forward onto the triceps, the two arm tricep extension exercise will now be conducted. This exercise can be done standing or sitting down. I'm going to demonstrate the standing up position. Start by holding the 15 pound in both hands and slowly carrying it above, above your head to the back of your head. Now, I'm gonna demonstrate using 
doing just like this. Your arm should be bent at a 90 degree angle with the forearm of your with the forearm on the side of your head and the weight on the back of your head. Vertically lift the weight, lift lift your forearm so that the weight is being lifted above your head. Hold this position for 30 seconds, breathe and rest. 10 to 15 reps should be conducted as follows. Next, the shoulder lateral raise. We can we can start this by standing in our basic position, holding the weights in each hand, in each hand in the front of your hip and thigh. Your arm should be lifted outward on the sides, forming a T, shape of shape with your body and the weights being held firmly even. Hold this position for 30 seconds and release. Lastly, the Y row exercises practice. Getting into a squatting position by bending your knees and leaning your leaning your upper body forward. <clears throat> Have your arms placed in front of you with your palms facing your body and grasping the weights. Slowly begin to lift the weights, bringing them towards your chest. Hold this position for 30 seconds, breathe and rest. This position should be cut, conducted for 10 to 15 reps. This concludes the weightlifting session of this lesson. We are now going to cool down the body as a way to safely relax your body after this intense workout. The cool down is very similar to the warm up as it follows the same stretches performed in the beginning of the workout. Stretch the same muscles as you did when you first started. This includes bicep, tricep, shoulders, and back. Once all of the stretch out, you have now learned how to properly lift weights. Do anybody have any questions?